very well balanced horse on the outside at the moment, nose banded. But it's So Habe, who has made the running before, that bounds into an early lead from continuously in second. Sir George Turner in third place, and then play a part, and finally in the yellow jacket environment ordered as they passed the packed enclosures today on this final day of the Chester May meeting and make their way left-handed away from the crowds in this D stakes and it's Sohabe from continuously and Sir George Turner play a part in fourth place and environment audit in fifth and last as they run along the side of the course just five runners but it looks a pretty true test at the moment Sohabe taking them along at a good gallop from continuously Sir George Turner on the inside in the yellow and red jacket and then player part settling nicely for Eddie Ahern and finally environment audit less than six furlongs to cover as they run along the back straight and it's so Habe and Richard Hills in the colors of Sheikh Hamdan Al Maktoub continuously gets to within a half length of the lead now Richard Quinn in second Sir George Turner and Kevin Darley in third place then play a part in fourth and finally environment audit who would only be what five lengths off the leader now they head towards the final three and a half furlongs so Habe is uh, still stretching well in front it's been a good pace all the way second is continuously then sir george turner play a part in fourth place and environment audit now getting a bit outpaced in the rear they round left-handed then and still sir hay from continuously player part is trying to get on terms on the outside of sir george turner they both have to pick up though as they straighten up for home and it's so hay who still leads sir george turner will try perhaps for a run up the inside continuously out wide now wider still and driven hard is player part they run inside the final song sir hay sir george turner bursting through player part on the wide outside sir hay is reeled in by Sir George Turner. Sir George Turner sticks his nose out. Sir Habe far side. Sir Habe just held it. Sir Habe from Sir George Turner. Player part only third, then continuously an environment audit last of the five. A thriller here for the D stakes. And Barry Hills has uh, looked to have won it again with Sir Habe, ridden by his son Richard who made all the running. Sir George Turner coming with a thundering late burst in the hands of Kevin Darley. Both horses very game indeed, sticking their heads out. But I think Sir Habe's head on the inside has prevailed. He's got it. Sir Habe is the winner from Sir George Turner and player part who was forced wide down the straight, unable to quicken up quite as well as the front two. Sir Habe, who was second behind a Ram Ram at first, first time out this season. That form boosted by a Ram Ram's subsequent sixth in the 2000 Guineas and the third, in fact, Grampian won next time as well. The winner of this, Philip Lever, whom D stakes at 9-2. Not in the derby, Sir Habe, who did touch 5-1 to one on the course, returned the 9-2, clear third favourite. Beats Sir George Turner at 5-2, to two, second favourite, player part was third, and they asked for odds of that 6-5 to five on favourite. The six odds on loser in the D-stakes, only three odds on winners. So statistically, the odds on have not been a good horses to back in the D-stakes. There is a steward's inquiry. The bing bongs have gone, a steward's inquiry has been announced. The distance, the minimum possible, a short head and a length and a quarter. Continuous was fourth of 14 to one. Environment was fifth at a pony 25 to one. So hey, ending what had been up to now a disappointing Chester meeting for Barry Hills. He wins this for the 11th time. The D stakes with Sohave, but no Derby clues there either, I'm afraid. Well, the Stewart's inquiry is into possible interference between first and second approaching the winning post. So here it is Sohave on the rails. Kevin has angled out gradually in the yellow colours on Sir George Turner. Does interference take place? Let's watch it through. Kevin's going to pull his stick through, picks it up, right-handed, gets a response, and there's plenty of daylight at the minute, John. Oh, a real ding-dong battle, this. It was wonderful. You always thought that uh, Sir George Turner was going to get there, but Richard Hills never gave up on this horse, kept pumping away, and uh, every time Richard asked him, he gave a little bit more. 50 yards from the post, you thought, oh, and this horse is going to get it, and he was just leaning into Sir George Turner, mm. and nip and tuck, 
but um, there's no doubt that he'll keep the race. Well, it's actually, if any interference,